Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech where we are ambushing this convoy here. We don't have vision on any of it, which makes me a little bit sad. I don't think we can really get effective vision on very much. I mean, we can move up to here or to here and have a fifth evasive pip. Primitive. Evasive pip even. And I think that's going to be exactly what we're going to do. We've got a manticore and a bulldog. We can fire at the Banshee, though, and its back is currently turned to us, so we would breach right on through its cover. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Behind you. Nice. Make that Banshee even more sad. They're going to move up and start attacking our Grasshopper. But that's exactly what I want them to do right now. Because we can then move in here with our Orion, and we see that there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies here? I'm not too concerned about AC-20 ammo in that case. I'm going to go ahead and precision strike this, just to boost the chance of actually hitting. All weapons Primary is target is damage, Commander. Keep it up. Primary target is damage, Commander. Keep it up. Excellent. Enemy unit destroyed. Okay, so they're going to move in with this, I believe... This might be a second Shrek. A third Shrek, potentially. Bulldog is going to move on in. Ooh, he actually hit with that large laser. That makes me a little sad, actually. <laughs> I laugh at your puny attack. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, I think we leave the Black Knight exactly where it is. We can't make it to these trees, and we don't have a reason to vent heat this round. They can't see it anyway, so. I was really hoping that bulldog would die from that. Okay. I'm ready. Well, Diva, you can come on over here Rolling. and finish off the bulldog. Welcome to my album. There we go. And then we're just going to continue hitting that banshee, that. probably. <laughs> Where's he going to go? there and attack our grasshopper. He actually missed both PPCs. Commander, I'm wounded. Of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. Okay, let's move the Orion forward slightly. And I'm going to precision strike this guy. Do we care about these torsos? He's got a PPC and a medium laser in both of them. What about the arms? He's got nothing in either arms. So both of these torsos are identical, so we should go for the lower torso. This one. Okay, I guess the other one works too. Whatever. <laughs> Enemy mech. Critical damage Ready for order. Okay. I guess at this point we might as well do more damage to this torso. Okay, we were unable to eliminate that torso entirely. It's got 10 HP left. Ooh, that's a demolisher. Okay. That demolisher just became a top priority for probably two mechs. Ready for orders. Eva, I want you to come over here. Acknowledge. Get as many evasive pips as you can, because that's a lot of Shreks. Well, that's a second Demolisher there. Okay, well, we need to eliminate this one. I'm going to Precision Strike him right in this side here, and hope that we actually just straight up one-shot him. Confirmed. And we did. Excellent. Okay. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. So they're going to move this Shrek over here. An attempt to strip strip off a uh, Taking heavy hits, Commander. evasive pip that is. Order. Okay, let's uh let's bring the Black Knight over this direction. I feel like we're only going to be able to shoot at Roger. the Banshee, but that's okay. I would love to get that torso gone. Acknowledge. There we go. Okay. Solid connection on that one. 
So at this point, that demolisher yes. definitely needs to be our primary missile target. Let's see how much it is. Okay, it's not dead yet. We could step forward with the Orion, or we could remain in cover. I think we'll remain in cover and go for the kill on the Banshee. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. And I think we're just going to remain where we are and increase our initiative a bit here. Demolisher moves forward and attacks our Grasshopper. Ooh. One shot that right arm. He missed one of his AC-20s. What was in that? Small laser and a medium laser plus plus. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Our grasshopper is doing okay. It's just that was unlucky. Okay. The only one we can move is our Orion. So let's go ahead and... Can we get visuals on that Shrek over there? No? Okay. I guess we just gotta take out this one. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Okay, they're gonna move that guy forward, actually. That's really good for us. I don't care about them hitting the Black Knight, even though that did do a lot of damage. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see, these are both phase one. Okay. Receiving Here's the plan. We precision strike this demolisher in the front with our LRMs. Fire we kill the demolisher. Okay. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. We can eliminate these guards super easily. They're dead this round. We, go we come in, we stomp on this Shrek, use our small lasers on it. Engaging. There we go. Don't even need the small lasers. Excellent. There's one for the scrap heap. Commander. Okay. On the move. Actually, I don't know that this Shrek is actually dead here. Oh no, it's wounded in the front. It's totally dead here. Confirm. Excellent. There we go. Vehicle. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you're at right now. An adequate showing, Commander Rinaldi. For mercenaries, your people showed remarkable discipline. Glad to hear you're impressed. We'll meet you in orbit to collect our pay. Olivia, out. Mission successful. Okay. So there we have it. I would have liked to not lose that arm. But I guess it is what it is. It was just bad luck. We had, what, four evasive pips at that point? And it just happened to hit the arm that was already damaged? Bad luck on bad luck. But hey, we get a Banshee part. Anything else good here? I mean, there's a PPC++, I guess. We got a bunch of PPCs out of it. And an AC-20, I guess. Not the end of the world. So what is next, then? It's not a consecutive deployment, we know that. The Defector 2, High Orbit, Ispur. Commander Rinaldi, I have unfortunate news. Your quarry has escaped you. Yoshido Okada wasn't a passenger on the convoy that you destroyed after all. Naturally, we'll be withholding your pay until you find and eliminate him. Like hell you will. We put our mech warriors in harm's way based on your intel, Chewie Hiranaka. If the target wasn't on the convoy, that's on you, not us. We upheld our end of the contract. House Karita hired you to kill Yoshido Okada. On my honor, you will receive nothing until he is dead. Attend to your task, or leave this system in disgrace. It makes little difference to me. 
The Galadon regulars stand ready to succeed where you have failed. Okay, now he's being a jerk. The screen cuts to static. It seems that Chewie Hiranaka has terminated the communication. You get what he's doing, right? That horse's ass deliberately fed us bad intel. He wanted us to hit the wrong convoy. He wants us to wash our hands of the job so that his regulars can take all the glory. This is bullshit, boss. If we do the job, we're working two gigs for the price of one, but if we tell him to screw himself, we don't get paid at all. I'm thinking that we should take option C. We find the building he's broadcasting from, put it under siege, and force the bastard to pay up. If we do that, we tank our reputation with House Karita. That may not be fair, but it's a fact. Your call, Commander. Do we track down the real Yoshida Okada and finish the job, or do we make che Chewie Hiranaka pay us what he owes at gunpoint? Either way, we're going to have to drop immediately. The Galadon regulars aren't going to wait around for us to con conduct repairs. What? It said that there weren't any consecutive deployments. Whatever. It's fine. Do we continue the hunt for no additional pay? No, I think we force Hiranaka to pay us. Maybe we'll get some Liao rep with that. We get paid for our work, period. I say we go with Yang's idea and force Hiranaka to pay up. If that's what you want to do, we'll do it. Gotta admit, it's gonna feel nice to wipe the smile off Hiranaka's face. I just hope that it doesn't wind up costing us in the long run. Oh, I'm sure it will, but it'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? So, uh... We, uh, we, we get to conduct repairs. Refit this grasshopper. We'll put an arm on it and a medium laser and a small laser. We don't actually have a small laser in stock. That's unfortunate. Do they have one in the store? There is no store here. Or we can't access it. It's a Capellan Confederation store. We probably can't access it. Okay, uh, new plan. We have 0.69 tons remaining. So what is the new plan? Well, our heat efficiency is currently quite high. I'm just shocked that we can't replace that small laser. Hmm. I hate to leave it with 0.69 tons remaining. So take two days as is. We could take off some armor and put a second medium laser in this torso, maybe. Or put one in this torso. That could theoretically work. So the medium laser would go here, but of course we're 0.31 tons overweight. We could strip off a small amount of armor. After all, this mech's primary purpose is evasion tanking. So then we could do something kind of like... Mm, five points of armor here, like that. I'd rather have this medium laser be up top, personally. There we go. Something kind of like that instead. Our heat efficiency isn't going to be as good, but it's fine. And our punching won't be as good either. I'll get it in the but again, it's fine. So I think we go ahead and tick forward these two days until our grasshopper is back. I up that All work order is complete. Commander. Okay. And now we can run this. And in fact, I believe we want to run it from here. Yeah. Okay, so this is a capture base polar. And instead of D.Va, I guess we will be bringing Earthquake. That's really awkward, but I mean, Earthquake could use the, uh, use the experience. Well, let's go ahead and go. I think I'm going to put a cut in here, and next episode we will do this mission. Remember to subscribe for more. See you all next time.